All right, so I have not been out here in a while, to be honest, since the last video. Here are the collops. Turnips. Those are the all top turnips. They look beautiful. See, that looks like one turnip there. That was that last turnip, I'm guessing. Uh, here are the beets. And let's see, what else was in here? I cannot remember. Yeah, they look like they're just gonna be tops. So, I think this was Beats and Swiss chard. Here we have some more volunteer collards. And more collards. Now, these collards have been hit with a frost um and a hard freeze which is why they have the purple tinge to them so we've had 30 degree days we've had 60 degree days so yep here are those the burpee um kale blend those purple Purple kale are really pretty. Uh, the beets are, I mean, the peas are pretty much gone. They may bounce back, but that they're they're definitely pretty dead. Uh, let's see. Strawberries back there in that pot. They're still doing pretty good. And asparagus fern. If you ever grow asparagus, definitely put it in a spot where it can just do what it wants to do. Um, I grew this one from seed, and it has just been doing what it wants to do. It dies back um, during the frost, during the cold months, and then it comes back like it never went anywhere. So, that's it. Nothing else to see here. Of the carrots. Let's see how far our carrots are now. I'm actually seeing some tops. It actually looks like <laughs> so. There are a few. Look like something's been through here. I'm not sure. Not sure. Let's try to pull that. So they're growing. Um, I normally leave them into spring and then I pull them. So most of the time during the winter, the tops all die back um, and the carrots will be fine underneath. And then once it starts to warm up, the tops will shoot up out of the carrot and then you know that they're there and you can pull them so I'm not ready for them yet this is a good size right here I know it's small but it's still a good size and that's it thanks for watching